Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, Happy New Year, John. How are you doing? What's it to you? <laughs> well, it's actually not much to me, but I know that our audience, okay, is always wondering how well you're doing for the new year, what your plans are. So, so we're not going to talk about that today, are we? Uh, well, I just, uh, before we get into what we want to talk about, I just want to say that the, the new year, there, there have never been so many people worldwide who are happy to see a year go as <laughs> 2021. So mm -hmm. everybody's really looking forward to 2022. I, well, I think know, 19, we say that every I, year. But I this, think 1942 this, wasn't such a great year for Americans. I don't know. 23. I think they were happy to see them go. Well, we'll see what 2022 brings. Hopefully it'll all yeah. bring better stuff. But I think right. every year is more yeah. of what we make it to be than what it is. It does on its own. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, now, now that happy we've wasted... Year. Now that we've wasted a perfectly good minute or two, why don't we talk about something that we're really excited about and really thankful for in this new yeah. year? Why don't you yeah. open it up, John? I want to tell you, you, our viewing audience, that uh, Art and I had lunch with an old friend last week. A long-term uh, friend, John. A, a friend of long-standing. Oh, she, she, she's, <laughs> well, she's also an old friend, but That's true. you're right. A long-term <laughs> friend. We have to be careful how we use these terms. Yeah. Um, Grace McKay. And yeah. Grace has uh, been in the film TV business for umpteen trillion years, like Art and I have. And she has always been um, an engineer, big on right. um, uh, her business for the last 15, 20 years. She, she was, for, for anybody who doesn't know her, Grace has been STEM long before oh, yeah. STEM became... Uh, Before STEM was a thing, yeah. Was a thing. Yeah. Okay, she's an engineer, a tinkerer, an inventor, yeah. and 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 quite frankly, she's brilliant. And we know oh, that yeah. because and we've she, been partners and we've been partners with her in, in several enterprises, and she's the smart one. Yeah, she's always the smart, <laughs> smartest person in the room. Um, but what her business has been for 20 years or so is transferring film to video. And mm. uh, digitizing, I guess is the correct word. Right. And so she's got all the top machines you can get, the big expensive machines. And she takes 16 millimeter, 35 millimeters, 70, does she do 70 millimeter? Yeah. Maybe not 70 millimeter, but she does a lot of film transfer uh, digitization. For professionals, uh, for Hollywood, Hollywood professionals. Studios, a lot of archival people, a lot of documentary filmmakers, things okay. like that. And along the way, she's been collecting old films and old TV shows mm. and old movies. And she's got, I think she said her library has 6,000 films in it, but okay. she's already put up a couple of thousand, uh, digitized them and put them up on um, the internet. So that's our surprise for you, our viewers right now, Happy New Year, with uh, what is Grace's website? Oh, so, vintage uh, Film, VintageFilmChannel.com. Thank you. Vintage. And if you go, you go to the go to YouTube, and it's got a slightly different configuration there, but it's also called the Vintage Film Channel. So if you just right. open up YouTube and type in Vintage Film Channel, by the way, I'm going to put it down in the notes below, so okay, that uh, you can either just click on it or copy and paste it. But VintageFilmChannel.com is a website, and Vintage Film Channel is the name of her YouTube channel as well. Yeah, and don't forget the channel. There's plenty of vintage film things out there on the web. This is mm -hmm. the vintage film channel, right. uh, com. So anyway, the important thing is <laughs> that it's a whole lot of fun. Um, Art, do you remember a TV show called My Little Margie? Actually with Gail Storm, you betcha. Yes, I, so mm -hmm. I went on to vintagefilmchannel.com and watched My Little Margie. I also watched, get this, Sid Caesar's Your Show of Shows. Now, I had this memory of Sid Caesar and Imogene Coca and uh, and Howard Morris. Oh, with a clock. Carl Reiner. <laughs> you know, the shows were completely different. They were yeah. amazing. They were 90-minute shows every week. They were filled with skits and dancing and singing and all, a lot of stuff I didn't remember. Anyway, 
wonderful, just wonderful to see them, the real thing, again, after all these years. And that's been very and special he, for me, by the way, John. I ran across Ernie Kovacs, uh, the, two, oh, yes. the, two, the two comedians that were the most uh, 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 important to me growing up because comedy has always been a great part of my life and your yeah. life as well, was Steve Allen and Ernie Kovacs. Oh, and yeah. er Ernie Kovacs had a morning show called uh, The Morning Show, or The Early Morning Show. I had one of the first <coughs> Ethan scores, uh, which is the, uh, uh, I don't know what it was, but you had to have an Aunt <laughs> Albert who smoked the hookah in order to be an Ethan's member. So yeah. I'll look it up and I'll, I'll post it someday what Ephraim stands for. I remember uh, when you say Ernie Kovacs, I remember Percy Dove Tonsils. Yes. And, and what about the Nairobi Trio? Uh, the, and, fabulous. He was, and he had a show for a while. He was married to, uh, was it Edie Adams? Uh, Edie Adams, yes. Yeah. What, what, she, was, what, yeah. she was fabulous. Uh, so anyway, on Vintage Film, because these were all on the Vintage Film Channel, right. dot com. Um, the other one I found, which is something, because it's it's loaded with a ton of stuff, I found a show called, a TV show from the 50s called Buffalo Bill Jr. Had you ever seen that? No. I, I never even heard of it, but she's got it on the Vintage Film Channel. Sounds like a Hardy Doody kind of thing. It's a sitcom, I mean, and not yeah. a sitcom, it's a little, um, you know, kind of like uh, Hopalong Cassidy, although she's got Hopalong Cassidy on there too. <laughs> um it was kind of like a My Little Margie Western with uh, set in the West and mm -hmm. Buffalo Bill Jr. And I I can't explain it, but it was of that era. Well, you know, I have to go back up there. Show. Another favorite show of mine back in that era was Our Miss Brooks with Eve Arden. I, yes. I, bet, I wonder if she has that on. The, the nice thing about it is that in addition to the TV shows that we all easily remember, there yeah. are a ton. And I think the vast majority of what a three to five thousand that she's still going to convert um, that are coming up there on a pretty regular basis are movies, most of whom yes. we've never heard of, but some yeah. of them are some of them are, are you know you, you wouldn't want I wouldn't want to spend your money to go see it for myself or spend the time, but many of them are have these wonderful character actors, people that we don't hear about much because they you know maybe they had two or three really good films. Or, or somewhat decent films, but they're all interesting. And if you're yeah. a movie buff, there's zero question that you want to go in and and find one of your famous stars to be hidden yes. away someplace in the credits, uh, yeah. it, because they're yeah, really they're, some they're remarkable young, films. Most of the films that she has in her library are, they're not the big blockbuster Hollywood, you know, mega movies. Right. They're the B movies, and they were... But you know what? They're awfully good. Some of them are just terrific. Some of them are a little cheesy, but uh, and you're right. Some of them have a young star or starlet who later becomes famous in their career. Right. But it, what a wonderful collection she's got. She's got something like 12 or 13 different genres. So you can find westerns and dramas and comedies. and um, It's a wonderful, wonderful treasure trove so anyway when it, anyway uh, um, uh, for our good friend Grace please go yep. to her YouTube channel and subscribe and or her website and subscribe again the the uh, links will be in the uh, description below uh, 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 this uh, uh, blog and uh, go see it and and enjoy yourself because for the new year you could probably watch a new movie or show every day and never run out of things to watch on yep. the Vintage Film Channel. Yeah, yeah. So that that alone is going to make it a great year. So Happy New Year. Happy New Year. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.